Welcome back to Timberborn. So as you can see, there's a little bit, <laughs> well, I mean, quite a big bit of a drought. There is a drought all over the place. But fortunately for us, in episode one, we dammed off the river. And as a result, well, I mean, we saved some water for us. We even have our emergency reservoir right here. We're growing tons and tons of food. And to be honest, we should see the end of this drought very, very soon. So when that happens, water should start to just sort of like flood in. Oh, look, there it is now. And as it floods in, you can just see it bringing life back to, uh, I guess, well, what seems to be a pretty desolate world. Humans used to live here. Uh, I think they're all gone. Our warehouse is full. We're gonna need more warehouses, but first drought was a success if you're new to the series and by the way look at how many people want this to become a series we got the sun zoo quote so you know you know that's a point when people are really really digging it if sun zoo himself says hey baron we need more of this we need this to become a series which is a question if you want to see more timberborn on the channel you guys you guys know what to do at this point the biggest issue we have right now is we don't have like many trees to chop down. Any tree that I had available, I've chopped down. Wait a minute, can I just plant them? Did I have to unlock this? Have I been messing up? Oh man, we want, we want trees. Well, who's gonna plant those? Don't we need a forester? Oh my God. Uh, I feel like we just recently, okay, we did. We did just recently upgrade this and then we need planks and that's really the biggest issue, right? We can't plant any trees until we have planks. We can't get planks until we have power. We can't, <laughs> I'm gonna need to get lumber over here and I'm gonna need to chop down all of these trees. That is definitely abundantly clear. We'd probably put ourselves back a little bit. Really, the priority was to survive the drought. And honestly, it wasn't too bad because of our decisions. However, we're having a problem expanding and that's a result of our decisions. In Sun Tzu's treatise on making decisions, he simply said, you need to do better, Baron. These decisions are not good enough. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. But this is like my favorite part. As water comes back, life comes back. And we should actually be able to like see these trees start to grow. And there's a number of different things we can do because as a beaver, your your main skills other than being able to chew through wood really good is uh, building dams and redirecting the flow of water. There's a lot of things we can do like digging long irrigation troughs or even in like a more advanced way, you can build irrigation towers, which can bring like water to like drier spots over here so we could expand and make like a giant farm if we wanted to if we could control enough water and maybe we might want to expand over here because this gives you scrap metal these old abandoned human building but yeah the game is out on S steam right now and epic game store and you can use baron von games in the epic game store if you guys do use that and by the way there's gonna be some fun stuff with that in the future but you no longer have to wish listed on steam unless you want to and remember if you can't buy a game and you want to support a game the next best way is probably to wish list it which you can do that with my game bot wars on steam uh -huh. did suddenly write a book about bot wars i feel like he did or he should have all right, so the issue here is let's go ahead and close this. We can close these buildings to get workers available to, you know, work in other areas like over here where we need them because without logs, we simply cannot expand. So now I think they have to bring the planks all the way back to here, right? Or not the planks, the logs. Someone's going to grab this log and take it over here where we're only 12 out of 50 done. But all the logs are actually going to this warehouse. We're maxed out. We got problems. We got to fix them. Now we can work on this. Let's maximum priority it. Oh, here it is. It's finally done. Okay, this is this is kind of when the cool part happens. So now what we got to do is build a lumber mill. And he is going to be able to get power because we're going to run some shafts here. I want to set up a little one of these just so... I can expand for the future, right? I'm accounting for that. Lumber mill. Was, will that power it? If this powers it, that's pretty freaking perfect. We're going in like the window. That should work, right? <laughs> I think that works. It goes through the window right there. All right, so we got like everybody we can lumberjacking it. You know what we don't need is anyone working here. So we'll pause that one. So all available people are doing things that actually matter. And look at this. Here it is. This one's almost done. But you can see how the power from the river is powering, you know, it's mechanical engineering. He says, 
with hesitation in his voice. But yeah, mechanical power. All right, so now it's time to make this top priority. We'll get one of these people on making planks and then we can finally basically from wood to planks and then from planks, well, we're gonna find out what the next big material is. It might be metal. Who knows? Is this stuff dying? I think it's dying. Oh, no, no, no. This looks done, but some of it disappeared. Am I already maxed out on this warehouse? What do we have a ton of other than like everything? Oh, yeah, we're getting so many logs right now, too. Okay, good. This is great. We're going to want logs over here once our lumber mill is finished, which is three logs and some labor. Yeah, but like I feel like Kingdoms and Castles like is a great series and this is also a great series because it's sort of like kingdoms and castles just with beavers you know what i mean and we don't have vikings but we have starvation all right so what is this vacant what do you mean it's vacant lumber mill should have one person in there what we can do is pause that basically we have we have so much that has been paused and it takes forever for trees to regrow who would have thunk it right that is definitely something we should have accounted for uh it looks like you want gears next. And then there's printing presses and paper mills, which is pretty cool. All right, here we go, though. We're doing a pretty good job, I think. And then we probably need a heightened prior, uh, priority here on the Forester. I don't know why English is so hard sometimes, but I'm trying to think of a word and it doesn't come to me. I just, you know, and then we're like talking like the Swedish chef from the Muppets. Dear Forester, we are in great need of lumber. Please plant little baby trees, so they grow up into big boy trees, and then we chop them down. In an endless cycle of life and death, at least if you use a tree. Okay, there we go. Our first plank. Our first three planks. We might want to get, like, multiple of these, hey? Just the issue is we, we need to attract more people. Leisure. What's cool is you can eventually build monuments. And where do the planks get stored? In a warehouse? Yeah, they get stored in the warehouse. Okay, that makes sense. So what we should have is like a warehouse over here. So Mr. Beaver doesn't have to run all the way over here and drop them off. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now we can plant trees. Do we have someone to work here? We have no one employed in this district. We have beavers dying of old age and no babies being made. We have a problem here. All right, we could probably stop this that way we've got like nobody working the lumberjack i mean we got to plant the trees so we can jack that lumber up too many are dying and not enough are being born we're having a population crisis where's the house that's like this is the baby making house i would like a baby making house please maybe it's leisure oh shoot we've got another drought coming all right, uh, I think we got plenty of food. We definitely have plenty of food. The issue is gonna be that this guy will no longer be powered, right? Okay, so we've got 2.7 days. Here's the thing. Do we want to create a power wheel? It costs 40? I think we need to have this as a reserve. This is cool. Like, you know those hamster wheels? It's basically that. I guess we could. Is this hauling post even close? It, it is very close to being done. Because then that would allow us to essentially get planks during the droughts and that would just be absolutely heavenly i would love that we needs it so we're gonna get that and then we're gonna put one straight shaft right into the side of it this thing is double powered there might be a way to like change the priority of things but the forester i guess it's because since the forester has no job he's not working right we've got pine trees over here now i'm not entirely sure the difference of all the trees oh here we go days to grow nine so these are what? Pines. What we want is birch trees because they grow pretty quickly. But the most efficient one, like look at this, maple produces eight logs, but it takes, oh my God, we definitely want maple. You know what? I'm gonna sprinkle maple in. It's gonna take a while for them to grow, but that's fine. When they do grow, they'll produce so much. Look at that. There we go, give me some maple trees. Put that to the top and put that to the second top. Oh my god, that also needs to go to the top. You're gonna be second top. So hopefully we <laughs> finish the hauling post first. Excuse me, beavers, please please make babies. We need, we need more workers. I think in order to fix that, we might need the campfire. All right, 2.4 days, everybody, don't panic. Please don't panic. All right, so what we did was we had four people work in the farms and that may be the issue. Like we have so much food. I have 162 berries, three, you know what, yeah. We don't need any more berries. We'll save them. No more berries, please. That way we should be able to, like, move some of our workers around to, like, you know, some much, much needed stuff. Hey, now we're planting our trees. Excellent. All right. 
I think the drought is here. Yep, the drought just started. You can see in 4x speed just the, the rate at which the water retreats, but our dam is in place. So it's gonna last 3.8 days. That's fine. I think we should have enough water here to where that's not too big of an issue. We may lose hydration over here and that'll affect some of this area. Are we out of logs? We're out of logs again. Oh yeah, look at how much is affected, okay. A decent amount actually is, is affected. Another Seji died of old age. How do we get babies? Maybe we need to decrease the working hours so we can increase the baby making hours. That would be my guess. Or we might just have to try to rush to get eight well-being so that we can unlock the new tribe. Yeah, it's unconnected because we're working on it. Look, it should be done like right about now. So we could power that if we wanted to, but honestly, I gotta figure out how to make babies. Who would have thought the birds and the bees would be so freaking difficult? Satisfies sleep and comfort, but like a beaver statue. Yeah, our beavers are just dying. And the irony is that they're not dying from hunger. Like we didn't have this problem in the demo. We have issues. So if you guys have some ideas as to what we can do to try to repopulate, I mean, we need a cupid or something. Cause there's definitely nothing in the tutorial or anywhere as far as I can tell of like hey maybe you should do this because your people are dying and not making babies I don't see nothing like that assign priorities I would like to assign priorities to making babies we have a baby making problem and we need to fix this problem there's not enough babies we need to make them there you go like <laughs> how do I communicate that to my people yeah, I think what they what happened is they've changed a lot of stuff since the uh, demo. And I'm like, oh my god, we gotta have food. We gotta have the bread and milk. We gotta have our f carrots and water or else everybody dies. As I did experience by playing Timberborn demo. Which, by the way, if like you don't want to buy the game, but you still want to experience it, like you can play the Timberborn demo for free, which is awesome. Maybe I should make a demo for my next game. Maybe I am right now working on that. The drought has ended, huzzah, 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 and someone else died of old age. D Please help me. Oh my God, guys, we have a major crisis on our hands and I need your help. What do we do? How do we save our butts? Our tokus is, I think what we need is some social leisure time. We're gonna make a campfire and they're gonna be like, oh wow, you look so beautiful in this firelight. Maybe we should procreate so that we can have more laborers. I mean, so that, you know, it's in our biology, baby. We just gotta do it. Baron's freaking out right now. And he's just trying to be lighthearted and, and sing. But really, th we are in jeopardy. Oh my god, we are in jeopardy. I don't like it at all. I don't like my paths much either. We might just have to like, I might do some off-screen recording and get to this point. I don't know. Yeah, water has come to the land. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Look at this. We got two people lumberjacking. I don't think we need to jack lumber. Sun Tzu said in the art of jacking lumber, sometimes you don't need to do it, sometimes you do. This is one of those times. I'm like dropping the labor time. All right, we got a fire. Hey, everybody hang out by the fire and make babies. Like, what do we do? Here, water pump, you're off duty. Don't need water. You need to go over here and hang out and be like, oh, funny finding you here. How are you guys? Does it work like this? I can't really explain it any other way, but we have increased the population well-being. Oh, they love it. Maybe we need another one. We need more leisure. A rooftop terrace. But it has to be up here. That's pretty cool that you can make a rooftop terrace. We're gonna put it on top of this. That's kind of funny. We could do that. Oh! We made a bit. Okay, there it is. We have made a baby. We have solved a crisis that we never thought. A crisis of procreation. The creation wasn't pro enough. It was actually like noob creation. And what we really needed was... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. But I am. Alright, we don't need a worker there. We got our planks popping out. Oh. Who would have thought? Leisure is what it took. Now, one of the other things, how can we get fun? Leisure, temple, carousel. Oh, that requires power and spirituality. My God, that's gonna require a lot of stuff. Is there not like a fun thingy around here? I mean, there's a carousel, but that's about it. Satisfies fun, we could get spirituality and social life. What's another low hanging bit of fruit? Nutrition too, got it. We can do something with that. We can make a potato griller. Then I think I could just increase that and then i could get spirituality that requires 40 planks to get a temple we're doing it oh my god where do you put this thing right here the temple of the beaver i guess beavertemple.com could go right here that is going to require so much of everything okay well i i think 
we figured it out. We lowered the working hours so that they had more social time. But until we get our numbers up maybe to like 12 again, I think we've got to like cool it down. I guess we do need a jack lumber. Sun Tzu, man. It, uh, I need an instruction manual on like when to not jack the lumber, when to jack the lumber. You see what I'm saying? This is a problem. People always say like you, you don't want to chop the lumber too much or you'll go blind but i don't know if that affects beavers <laughs> anyway guys thank you for watching another episode of timberborn where honestly i think we may have just avoided a crisis so pull the trigger and like button if you do want to see more timberborn remember that it is out now on steam pull the trigger and like button if you enjoyed the video uh and don't jack the lumber too much all right guys see you in the next one Bye bye oh sun Tzu, are you proud